first thing for further tutorial so now welcome all my viewers to my video and my channel tag Geek insider and all of you are viewing my channel so you all are automatically become insiders so now let's directly move on the filmora workspace Let's suppose this is the video on which you want to apply this speed ramping effect and for that purpose we'll simply click drag and drop this video to our workspace for the further editing and now as we have imported this video to our timeline and from now we'll simply click left on the video and this toolbar comes into action and from this toolbar at the right hand side of this cropping option you'll find the speed option we'll simply click here and at the second number there is an option called speed ramping we'll select this option and after that there will be two options visible one is uniform speed and the other one is speed ramping and as i have already told you i will tell you how to speed ramp so we'll click on the speed ramping option and after that this kind of interface you can see there are almost eight options available to you and I will explain each of these options one by one. So patiently watch this video and carefully observe what I am saying and telling you in this video so that you will not face any issues while editing your videos. Now let's get started with the introduction of all these options. Number one is none. Let's suppose you have applied any of these presets to your videos or you have customized this speed ramping but after reviewing at the end you find that these effects are not enhancing the quality of your video and in that case you want to remove all these effects and wanted to make videos earlier like that means speed will be normal and for that purpose you will simply click on the none option and this will undo all your changes in your video speed now at number two there is customize option means you can customize each section of the video according to your own will but i'll explain about this feature after all these options are finished because if you understand all these presets and after that you will be able to manage customization very effectively so let's move on to the third effect and after all these effects are finished i'll again come back on the customization option and will tell you each and everything that you need to know so at 3 we have montage effect as you can see this is normal speed and and from this point the speed of the video is slowly increasing uh, increasing 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 and at this point it becomes still and after this point it slowly starts decreasing and at this point from this point again it starts increasing and at this point the speed becomes constant and this speed is normal now let's play this video and see how does this appears and from here we can play it uh, normal and speed 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 and now slow slow again after this the speed of the video becomes normal and now let's move on to the another effect that is hero movement and also one thing i want to make you notice that as soon as we click on different options there is there is also change in the length of the video according to its speed means if the speed of the video is too fast then the length of the video will automatically get shortened and if the speed of the video is slow then automatically the length of the video will become longer now as you can see in the montage the length of the video is larger and when we click on the hero moment the length of the video becomes shorter and as on the time graph we'll see that from here to here it's normal and after this point it speeds up slowly slowly and after this point it slows down and from this to this point the speed is constant and after this point the speed becomes to speed up and from here it again decreases decreases and from this point the speed of the video becomes normal now let's again take a quick review of this video here normal fast forwarding and slow down slow down and from this point again it will going to fast forward and from here it becomes normal and likewise and likewise you can see all these effects like from here to here it's fast forward and from here to here it's slow 
एंड कॉन्स्टेंट अगेन फास्ट फॉरवर्ड एंड दिस and now i think that you have got an idea of how these things are working so now let's just take a quick review of all these effects and after that we'll come on to the customization option and also one thing you can notice here if you want to shift this point then you can also do that thing also but if you want to make another points on this timeline then you can't do on these effects because these are the presets provided to you but if you want to add more points according to your own will then in that case you need to use this effect that is customization and now the main professional editing comes into play where you can customize each section of the video according to your own will now let's for the sake i want to speed up the video so i'll just simply click drag and drop again i want to uh, slow down the speed of the video then again i'll click drag down the line and drop here now uh, there are only few points available to us to vary the speed of the video and now if we want to add more points then in that case we'll simply place this bar over that point from where we want to vary the speed of the video let's suppose i want to place a pointer here then then in that case i'll simply place this arrow here and after that there is option called plus i'll simply click here then again this adjustment point will add up here again here i want to add it from here i want to add it from here i have all again add it now you can edit all your video speed length according to your own will let's suppose i want to speed up this video now speed fast now speed slow speed fast speed slow and slowly slowly after this fast now you have seen that as soon as i was adjusting these points the length of the video was also changing like this now let's just play this video and see how does this work out so now let's get started fast slow fast slow fast slow I hope you must have understood all the things that I have told you in this video but still if you have any query do mention in the comment section and if you like this video then give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe my channel right now but if you don't like this video or find any anything annoying in this video then definitely you can dislike this video and do not forget to mention in the comment section why you are disliking this video because your feedback will help me to enhance the quality of my video till then you can definitely check out my channel Tech Geek Insider on there I have uploaded many other videos that can make you technologically advanced and make yourself stand out of among your friends group in terms of technical knowledge so this is tagging insider signing off do not forget to check out